I'm running for president to tear down all the barriers that stand in the way of every American. She is really, really pushing from the throat. Voice is about finessing the air, not about brute force. People sometimes say that they would like Hillary Clinton more if her voice was a little bit less annoying. Why does she sound so irritating to some people? Ami Shah, who researches hearing and perception at Cleveland State University, ran an analysis of Hillary's voice for us. According to Shah, Hillary's voice is actually average in pitch and loudness for her age and gender. But Shaw did find that some people might perceive Hillary's voice as louder because of the mic effect. Hillary tends to use too much force when she talks into a microphone during big speeches. Instead of using diaphragmatic breathing, which is deep from within your belly, um, she tends to use more sort of a surface level breathing using more of this chest and neck muscles, but it looks uncomfortable like listening to that and also looking at it. The other thing is that her voice lacks the typical things society expects from a woman's voice, like softness and breathiness and a slight nasality, like in this Marilyn Monroe clip. He was kind of scary looking, but he wasn't really all bad. The first lady for Arkansas now for about a month. There's just so much work to be done and so many people. As Shaw explored Hillary's past speeches, she noticed an interesting change. But I think as a society, we've had more than enough examples. Over time, her voice has become more polished, maybe even too cleaned up. She has very careful enunciation and few pauses. No conscience, no empathy. Hillary now has to appeal to people all over the country. So she's done away with some of the folksy character in her speech. That's what we're betting on, and we're just going to roll the dice and see what happens. Hillary's voice is so neutral, so polished, that it may actually make her less relatable. According to Shaw, people want their leaders to sound distinctive. But the truth is, it's really hard for any woman to pull off this balance between sounding persuasive and sounding like a crazy emotional harpy. In fact, many powerful women see actual coaches in order to help them sound more pleasing when they give talks. Laura Verdun is a vocal coach who trains people in leadership positions in Washington, D.C. I asked her about some of the criticisms of Clinton's pitch and tone. You can be loud, you can have a strong voice without coming across as aggressive or angry. If I was to have the pleasure to work with her, I would address two things. One is don't use loudness solely as your means to create emphasis because when everything is loud, then people start to tune out because they can't interpret what's your point. The second is, is then to rely on the other tools in regards to varying pitch or pausing. I'm gonna ask you to help me say, I urge you to vote for me in November as Hillary Clinton in the most effective way possible. Okay. Okay, so here's me just trying it without your, without your help. I urge you to vote for me in November. <laughs> it sounds more directive and more aggressive, whereas how would you rather come off? I would think you'd rather come off as more enthusiastic and energized. Okay, so try it one more time. I urge you to vote for me in November. I think those pauses were too long. So there are some things Hillary can do to sound better, like take more breaths, speak from lower down in her belly, and emphasize different words. Voice is fixable, to an extent. But the bigger question is, should Hillary's voice really matter this much? We might be paying too much attention to her voice just because she's female and the first female candidate for president. Well, there are lots of studies out there on, on social power. We tend to be more sort of uh, nitpicky on the traits in women. Studies show people judge female leaders more harshly than they do male leaders. Why don't we complain about how male candidates sound? Throughout the Democratic primaries, it wasn't as if Bernie Sanders had a strong, clear voice. His voice was actually very hoarse and raspy and rough and weak as the primaries went on, yet that was just uh, sort of pushed aside. Hillary has quirks to her speech, just like any other politician. We have to be the only major country that does not guarantee paid family leave to all of our people. It's really going to be a big debate, but I'm always ready. It's not just big, it's huge! <laughs>